Hello, grade 5 and 6. Welcome back to term 3 of 2020, this crazy year of ours that the Lord gave us. So we're just going to keep pressing on. This time I want us to focus on concentration and paying attention to detail. And at the beginning of every class, I will share a quote by someone famous who said something about concentration and excellence. Because at your age, that should be one of your priorities, is doing things excellently. So this week I have a quote by Aristotle, and he said that we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. So that means what defines you or how people know what you're really about is what you do on a daily basis, how much time you spend doing it. So if you spend most of your life on your phones or watching TV in all your free time, then that says something about what interests you. If you spend a lot of your time doing things with your hands, creating things, playing your instruments, that says something else. Okay? So some people are using more of their minds. Other people are kind of just wasting away in front of screens. So you guys get to decide what your life will be about. All right? So let's apply that excellence in all the different subjects, everything that we do. Make it a habit. Okay? That attention to detail, concentration. So this time, we're going to do our solfege, obviously, sight singing. But I've tried to add some different things. So we're going to be looking at intervals. We'll be training our ear. An interval is the space between two notes. So I have my little keyboard on my phone over here. And I'm going to be playing two notes, a pair of two notes, a pair of notes. <laughs> and you will listen and tell me what interval it is. I'll explain that. We're also going to be doing some sight reading challenges, some sight singing challenges. So you'll be given your downloadable sheet music and you'll be able to work on that. So let's first begin with our solfege warm-up here. We'll be having some interesting warm-ups. Alright? Let's start with this one for this week. Next week it'll look different. So we're going to go from beginning to end. Usually with the other kids, I've had them repeat after me. But this time, you're going to just go beginning to end. We might have done this in class sometime before COVID-19 hit us. <laughs> okay. So this is how it will go. A small sample. Do, do, re, do. Do, re, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Okay? So let's do that together. And then here we'll be coming backwards. So, so, fa, so. Let's go from the beginning. One, two, three, let's go. Do, do, re, do. Do, re, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. So, let's go together. Go. So, so, fa, so. So fa mi fa so so fa mi re mi fa so so fa mi re do re mi fa so. <laughs> do you do that again? You guys are probably better than me at hand signs now. Let's go from our so 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 fa so so fa mi fa so so fa mi re mi fa so. So fa mi re do re mi fa so. Next week we're gonna add la t in the high do so that we're gonna have the whole scale to go up in steps like this and come back down from high do. Do do ti do. We'll look at that next week. Let's move on to our intervals. So, as I said, intervals are the space between two notes. So for example, do, do, that is an octave, okay? So instead of saying it's an interval of an eighth, because there are eight notes in between C and C, or D and D, E and E, 
You say it's an octave. If I play, that's a fifth. It goes from do to so. There's five notes between do and so. So if you have a keyboard at home, you'll be able to really enjoy this because then you can try out different intervals at home. So if I move to the key of D and I have D as my do, what interval is that? Do. Did we say that was if this is do? This is so. Okay. Do so. Same thing. Do. Okay. So I'm going to mix them up now. Now play. In different keys, I'm not going to tell you the order or anything like that. You're going to tell me, is it an octave or interval of a fifth? Okay, so octave or fifth. So listen carefully. First one. Again. Which one is that? That's an octave. Mm-hmm. Two more. That's an octave. That's a fifth. So if I play an octave, if I play both those notes together, do and do, C and the higher C, that's what that sounds like. G and G, but a fifth sounds like this. That's what the chord sounds like. That's another fifth. Oh, that one sounds kind of minor. This time, also going to be talking about the difference between major and minor sounds in music. That's called tonality. So we're going to be talking about that later on. So intervals, we'll keep working on that. There's so many different intervals because you have a scale of eight notes. So there's intervals of thirds, uh, seconds, fourths, and we'll look at all of them. I've attached a link for a YouTube video this week. You get to work with a YouTube video to work on your sight singing. Okay. So instead of the call and response, you're going to be given your starting note. So if you're given your, oops, sorry, that's your do, that's your chord for do. If you're given that as your do, then it'll give you notes and you'll have to figure out what the notes are with your first note as do. So if it's C, 
you dough, you'll have to figure out all the rest. I think that'll be good for you to just warm you up and get you ready for similar challenges where you won't have anything to tell you if you're going to try it or not. You'll just have to do it by yourself and send it to me. Okay? So, enjoy the start of your term and watch that video and sing along. Try your best to do the challenges honestly. Don't wait for the piano to play the answer for you. Okay? See you guys next week.